So in the case where we know the spindle speed in revolutions per minute, and we want to calculate the surface speed, we need just a little bit more information. We need to know what the cutting diameter is. Let's look at an end mill. It will say that it's a one inch diameter end mill. We're looking at it as if it was plunging towards us, which is probably a bad position to be in the machine tool. But we'll call this one inch diameter. And we've got, let's say, 6,000 revolutions per minute. So let's say 6,000 and rev per minute. So if I want to go from revolutions per minute, remember surface speed is always expressed as feet per minute. If I've got revolutions per minute, I've got a diameter equals one inch. What I really need to know is how many inches per revolution, right? So I can figure out inches per revolution pretty simply. That's how, how far is it to go from here to here? That's the circumference of the part, or pi times the diameter. And uh, in this case, we've got one inch diameter. So this is roughly equal to 3.14 inches per revolution. So I get 3.14 inches per revolution. Now, I need to multiply that by my 6,000 revolutions per minute. If I do 6,000 rev per minute, now we get the revolutions go away. 3 times 6 is about 18. So we get somewhere in the range of 18 thousand inches per minute. If I want to go from inches per minute here to feet per minute, which is what our surface speed is normally expressed in, I need to divide by 12. And this gives me 1500 SFM or feet per minute. Now, if you, uh, if you Google this or you look up uh, on the internet, you'll see that there are formulas where they've combined the 3.14 and the 12, and they tell you to multiply by 4, divide by 4, things like that. Uh, you can use one of those formulas, but you should really only use it if you understand the rationale for that formula. In fact, if you go to the internet and type surface speed converter, there's websites that you can plug in your surface speed, your diameter, and it'll tell you what the surface you can plug in your RPMs and diameter, it'll tell you what the surface speed is. You can plug in your service speed and uh, diameter, it'll tell you what the RPMs are. I don't think I've ever seen one where you can plug in the, uh, the service speed and the RPM and it'll tell you what the diameter is, but I think you can figure that out.